Hey, Jack, what are we going to draw today? A sea serpent. A sea serpent, which is like a dragon that lives in the ocean. Yes. It's awesome. We hope you're excited and you're going to follow along with us. You need a marker or something to draw with. Yeah. And some paper. paper. And something to color with. Yeah, something to color with. Some colored pencils. <laughs> you ready to get started? Yes. Okay, let's first start by drawing our sea serpent's eye up here in the top left. We're going to put his head up here so that he has a big long neck and his body down here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start by drawing a diagonal line up here in the top left. This is for his eye, the top of his eye. Then we're going to draw the bottom of his eye. We're going to draw a curve that starts on the left side. Yeah, connects up to the top. Then we're going to draw his mouth. We're going to draw an S line. We're going to start here. Draw an S line that comes underneath his eye. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of his mouth. We're gonna draw another S line that comes out and towards the front. And he's got his mouth open. So let's draw his cool sharp teeth next. Yeah. We're gonna draw really <laughs> we're gonna draw one big sharp tooth. Then we're gonna draw a bunch of little ones behind it. Then we can repeat that same step for the bottom jaw, bottom of his mouth. And we're gonna draw so a really big one and then lots of little ones after. Now let's draw the top of his head. We're going to start over his eye. We're going to come down and then connect into his nose. Yeah. Now let's draw his jaw. We're going to draw a line that comes out. And we could draw a zigzag line on his chin. And then we're going to draw... For his beard. Yeah, he's, he's got a little beard. And then we're going to draw the bottom of his jaw coming back. Cool. All right. Now we're going to draw lots of fins on him so he looks like he belongs in the ocean. We're going to yeah. draw a really cool big one that comes out of the top of his head. We're going to draw a curve that comes out and back to his eye. And then we're going to draw the back of his head. So a curve that comes back and looks like it's going to connect to the bottom of his jaw. Yeah. Now let's draw a couple more really big spikes. We're going to draw one really long one. Then let's draw a couple more sh shorter or smaller ones. Yeah, did you draw? Yep, one more. There you go. Good job. So we're going to connect each of these spikes with some webbing, kind of like on a fish, his tail or on yeah. his fins. Yeah. So we're going to draw a curve that connects each of these spikes. And then I'm going to draw one that comes down and connects to it back to his head. Doesn't that look like the fin on a fish? Yes. Cool. Now let's draw one more uh, back here. So he looks 3D. We're going to draw another spike. I'm going to add one more spike that's even bigger. Right above. Yeah. Now let's connect those spikes also with the webbing. Oh, he looks awesome. He looks really cool. Yeah. Now let's add some more spikes back here. I'm going to add some zigzag lines that connect up to that fin on, on the side of his head. All right, now we're ready to draw his neck. We're going to draw a big S line. We're going to start right here under his jaw. We're going to draw an S line that curves to the right and then back over to the left side. Now I'm going to start curving this actually all the way under. Look at that. Looks like an S. Backwards S. Yeah, good job. Now let's draw the back of his neck. We're going to start up here and we're going to draw another curve that does the same thing that we did with the first one. Yeah, keep going. We went right next to it. Perfect. Then we're going to draw the belly of his neck or the bottom side of his neck. It's going to make him look like a snake. So we're going to draw another S curve. It's closer to the left side though. And I'm going to extend it a little past the other two lines. Yeah, just like that. Now let's draw his fins. We're going to draw him with two fins and a tail, kind of like a, like a seal. Yeah, so a dragon seal. A dragon seal. So I'm going to draw a curve that comes down really long. Yeah, and then we're going to curve back up for that fin. If we want, we could even add little wrinkles on each side. It looks like it's connected to his body. Then let's finish his belly into that fin. Cool. <laughs> let's make him 3D. So let's add another fin over here on the other side of his body. And then I'm going to connect it back up into 
his body. If we ever go too fast, remind our art friends, what can they do if they need more time? Pause the video. Yes, you guys can pause the video. If you want to take extra time to draw your fins or extra details on your sea serpent. Now, let's draw the rest of his body. We're going to draw an S line that comes out from... So we're imagining this line coming behind his fin right here. Then we're going to come out the right side. I'm going to come up and curve around. Cool, yeah, now let's draw the top of his body. We're gonna draw another curve that matches this one. So we're gonna come around like this, and then I'm getting closer, but I'm not gonna to touch down here at the end for his tail. <laughs> now let's draw his tail. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes out, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make it look 3D. I'm gonna go behind his fin since I'm really close, but you have a lot of extra room. So you can you don't need to draw the 3D or, or overlapping. Then I'm gonna draw another curve on the other side. And you're running out of room, that's okay. You can imagine it going off the page. Yes, yeah. perfect. Now let's draw the rest of his tail. I'm gonna start right here in the middle and I'm gonna draw a curve that comes up and then right at the end, curves the other direction to finish his fin or his tail. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Draw that S line that comes out. Doesn't that look awesome? Yeah. It looks kind of like it belongs on a killer whale or maybe a dolphin. And or a we, mermaid. Or a mermaid, yeah. <laughs> mermaid, and then he's got these extra fins over here, too. I love it. He's, he looks like he belongs in the ocean. Yes. Now, he needs a lot of extra details to make him look even cooler. So let's add fins going down his back, kind of maybe like a seahorse. So I'm going to draw one spike coming out behind his head. I'm going to draw a really big one next to it. And then as I come down, I'm going to add a couple more really long ones. Now, as we get further down his neck, we're going to make him get shorter. Each of these spikes is going to get a little smaller. You can add as many as you want. You don't have to add the same amount. Yeah. Oh, yours, yours is my favorite. It looks so cool. <laughs> now we're going to do that same thing that we did up here on his head. We're going to connect each of these spikes with a curved line so it looks like there's webbing in between each spike. Come all the way down and then right here on this last one I'm going to draw one last line to connect it into his neck. Okay let's add another let's add another row of spikes going down his back. So I'm going to this time I'm going to start small and I'm going to get bigger as we go down his back, can even do some really big ones and maybe even a, some smaller ones. Then when we get closer to the end of his tail, I'm going to get smaller. Yeah, perfect. Then let's add that webbing. So we're going to do the same thing. We'll connect each of these with a curve. So we've got these. This is where our art friends may need to pause the video if you need extra time because we are going a little faster. So. Each spike is connected. It totally looks like, uh, like a seahorse, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, the back of a seahorse. Oh, it looks awesome. It looks really cool. Now, let's add gills. Let's add some gills on his neck. So I'm going to add just a few lines that come down his neck. And I got a little smaller as I got down towards the end. We could also add some spikes, just like we did right here on the side of his head. So it looks more 3D. Then see this line right here? Yeah. Let's continue that line underneath his belly. And then I'm gonna taper it and get smaller as it goes into his tail. Yeah. All right, now we have one last thing to draw. Let's add some lines going across his neck. And you can curve them to make him look more 3D. Now this is a lot like a snake, like the belly of a snake. So that's, yeah. that's why I think it looks really cool to add this to a sea serpent. And we added a lot of these same details on the dragon lesson. Do you remember that one? Yes, I do. We got to leave a link for our art friends. If you guys haven't checked out our dragon lesson, you've got to do that one too because it looks really cool. All right, we did it. We finished drawing our sea serpents. They look awesome, except they're going to look even better once we do what? Color them. Yeah, we still need to color them. Now this part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Let's do it.
All right, we did it. We finished coloring our sea serpents and we colored them solid. They look pretty awesome. Yes. But we still need to add shading. Shading, yeah. Well, this part we're going to still fast forward, but at the end you can pause it again to yes. add some shading and make them look even more 3D. You ready to fast forward again? Yeah. Now we're going to fast forward, but I want to show our art friends the technique that we're doing really quick. So on one of these, on the webbing in between the spikes, starting really dark with our dark blue and I'm pressing hard next to the body, next to his neck. And then as we get out, as we go out from his body, we get lighter and lighter and fade out. Doesn't that look cool? Yeah. That looks a lot more 3D and we're going to add that to each of the segments in between the spikes. All right, let's keep going. Next, I'm gonna add some shading underneath his jaw, right where his neck comes out of his head. And we're also adding some shading to this back fin to make it look more 3D too. And we're also gonna add shading to his body. We're gonna do it on the bottom side of his belly because the light is shining down from the top where the sun is. So we're gonna shade the bottom part and I'm also shading the bottom or the back side of his neck. All right, dude, we finished shading our sea serpents. They look awesome, don't they? Yes. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same shading and also the same color but it's okay that our drawings look different, right? Yeah. And it's okay if our art friends' drawings look different than ours too, because the most important thing is- Have fun. Yeah, to have fun. And to practice. And to practice. I hope you actually change your drawings. You, you could even add a background. You could draw the ocean. You could even draw other creatures around him. Yes, like oh, piranhas. Like piranhas, that would be way cool. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.